What is going on, guys? It is your coach of the Detroit Blue Players, Kaz the Weeb, and we are here with week seven of the Puddle Mafia division, and we are facing against Killzone, uh, coach of the uh, Killzone Dragons, I believe, or something close to that. They got a Rayquaza and stuff on their logo. Very cool. Um, right now, we are in good position to make playoffs, so we want to make sure we can keep up the pressure. Um, I believe we are four and two, I believe. So if we can get this win, I'm pretty sure that gets us in the playoffs. So I'm going to try my heart out here. And I need to figure out if he's going to lead one of these threats. And if he leads one, what do I do? You know, what do I, what do I do? So I do have the focus sash. So this is always like a safe, safe, like safe fish lead. I can click knockoff. If I'm, if I know I'm faster, I can click T wave or super faint after. Um, Gudra would be pretty decent if it's the bear lead. If it's not the bear lead and it's something like uh, Enamorous. Enamorous is obviously not the best. Um, I could also lead the Palafin to get my uh, choice band going. I might do that. Um, it just gets a little scary with whatever he leads because I'm, <laughs> I'm basically giving him a free chance. But we're going to just go right in. It is Amoongus. So he went for the safe lead. Maybe trying to click Spore here. I do have Sap Sipper. He could also click Toxic, which is really annoying. Um, if he does click Toxic, that is problematic just a little bit. Uh, I am going to check how much Choice Banded Ice Punch does to Amoongus. If I stay in, if it's worth it. It does, if it's, um, let me do max defense. It is looking like a 32 to 40, 34 to 40%. I don't think that's worth it. Um... If he gets a Toxic off on Gudra, I guess that's okay. Um, so let's just do Gudra. Let's see. Yeah, he went for the Spore. Thanks for the attack. We'll take that. Um, I could go for a knockoff here. It's still going to do a little bit more. I could Flamethrower as well. Uh, he could go for a Toxic now. He could potentially have it. Okay, so it looks like he does have Spore. He could have Foul Play. Now that he gave me a plus one. Let me just add Spore onto here. Put in the Gudra. Flamethrower does a decent amount if he's if he's not max. It'll do 34. I'm at plus one attack now. So theoretically, I could click knock, remove items. Uh, I need to see if he stays in. Let me click knock here. I, I, I don't think he has toxic. So I'm just going to click knock here with my plus one. Uh, if he wants to fall play, that does hurt. Knock, remove, sludge. He does have Toxic. All right. He does have Toxic. 25% from the knock it means he's not entirely invested. I'm going to click Flamethrower here. Because uh, I don't know what he does now. He could swap. Uh, I don't think he wants to be... Okay. Flamethrower didn't do anything. Is Enamorous AV... Let's see. Enamorous from my Gudra... That's looking like AV. Yeah, that's AV as hell. So I'm going to swap here. To question. This thing was always a problem. I could theoretically get a T wave off on it. Not as worth it now. He is looking AV. He could click Moonblast. So I'm trying to see what my options are. Transformed Palafin is still taking a lot, but the Ice Punch does kill. I think I'm just going to go Palafin. It is play rob. It is physical. So I think I just lock in Ice Punch here, right? Ice Punch does kill. Iron Head kills. So it really just depends on what he wants to click. Let's see. Ice Punch has the best coverage because I don't... I think that's, that has to be Urshifu Single Strike, so... I think Ice Punch has the best coverage. It, it is Scarfed. All right. Well, Enamorous is down. It was Scarfed. I can still get a Wish. Oh, that is unlucky Rubber Ducky. <clears throat> so now this guy came out. So now I go Redemption here. He's going to Rapid Spin. <clears throat> I am going to click Knock Off here to remove Item. Supercell Slam did a lot. He's physical. Remove the Citrus. I love to see that. 
So Supercell Slam. If that's the case, he could be unscarfed. Okay, well, Gudra's gone, right? He's fast. He's real fast. Um, does knock off kill for me? I don't think it does. I have the scarf. I have jet punch. I guess I just lock in a jet punch here. So I'm gonna just jet it up. Yeah, okay, it's gone. Put that thing to rest. Now, the thing is, Ursaluna, <laughs> I have no switch ins. I have no switch ins for Ursaluna. Nice. Oh, this is damage. Oh, this is damage. So now we, we just flip turn. Amoongus. Uh, I think we just freeze right here. Uh, Amoongus is looking very defensive. A choice picks freeze right on Amoongus. I don't need Enamorous. I don't need Reggie Lucky. Amoongus. Freeze right does a lot. It actually should kill from here. Assuming no spadef bolt, right? And Freeze Right hits everything. Almost everything. Obviously he has a he has a one guy. Yeah, he's gone. Last year comes out. I'm going to uh I think I go aerial first. Wallowed. I think we wish. I think we wish and then we flip the Palafin. Oh, I'm actually slower. I'm actually slower. Hmm. Uh, I could go Bianca. Okay, wait. He did high horsepower, right? Let me calc. So, High Horsepower is doing 31. Uh, Amoongus is gone. Glacier is Terra Ground. Let's see. Hello. Hi. Horsepower is doing... It hit 31. So, okay. This is looking like Max Attack Adamant. So, Hiram on a High Horsepower. He does actually take it. I think Kieran's the best swap. Because I want Sinchino. Yeah. I think this is the best swap. Oh, that was... That was, um... Perfect for me, actually. Because Freeze Right hits everything. Okay. DC. <clears throat> I'm gonna wish. Oh, he crit me. That's toxic. Don't worry, I'm scarfed. I am scarfed. Yep. Okay, this is GG's. We just click, we just uh, close combat, and then Palafin cleans up. Yeah, he, he did get the kill. You have to kill on me. Um, I do just jet punch in case he's vacuum wave. GG's, we got it, guys. A win. We got another win. That means we're five and two, and I'm pretty sure we're in playoffs. So. GG's in my opponent kill zone. Your team was very threatening. Anything could happen there at the end. I got really scared. Sad I didn't get to show off my Sinchino chat tech, but we can do that another time, maybe. So we'll see. I'm glad Kir Kirim got to come. I haven't brought him a lot. So it is nice to see him hit the board and actually put in some nice work. Um, Gudra, he struggled more than I was hoping for, but he did do what he needed to do. Didn't get any kills. I thought that was AV. It must have just had a lot of spadef because I don't know why my Gudra did so little with that um, flamethrower. Maybe I calc wrong. We'll have, to, we'll have to look at that later. But yeah, Choice Band Palafin shows his power because 
I've been running some weird sets with him. Uh, choice band is just the way to go sometimes. And as you see, Nian, it put in crazy where it hit. It killed, I'm pretty sure it killed Enamorous. And it killed, um, I, I, it didn't kill last year, but it killed the Ursuline. So at least got two kills this week. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, shout out to Tauros. I know he died, but he's, um, uh, you know, choice scarf to outspeed the Ursa, uh, the Urshifu and get the kill there was very important. So yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. I think we're in playoffs, so we're going to have a little bit of fun for the last, I think, week. I think that was week seven. I think I'm four and two. So yeah, we have like one more week. But yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, see you next time.